Hey, what's up? It's Avaya Mighty, and this is the making of Atlantic. Money, Prince, boy. Money costs more than most things. Ain't too far from rope strings. Explosive gold rings, dope fiends. Can't keep track of my proceeds. Mm. It's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> It's not as hard as a track though, eh? No, <laughs> yo. My bro Mighty Prince, he sent me this track, it was called Green Out. And I just remember it being one of the, one of the beats that I liked more out of the batch that he sent. I was just like, I really rock with the energy of this. You know, I resonate a lot with dark melodies and hard percussion, which this has both. They got trouble making rain. And they gon' struggle with they tenant. And they gon' run to take and best they lost and they be better. Yeah, so I was just cooking in your room. and. <laughs> Cause you're always cooking in my room. It's not, it's not a surprise. Yeah, but yeah. I, was just looking, I was just cooking in your room, and then I realized I saw a lollipop. I thought it was just candy, so I I started eating it. I was like, oh, my lollipop. I, you took my lollipop. Yeah, I, I don't even know. I just took the lollipop. I started eating it. I finished the whole lollipop, but after I done finished the lollipop, I realized. It was it was edible. I was like, you didn't read the packaging. No, nah, that's I what just, you get. I, just I probably got that from Amsterdam too. Oh. I was looking. I was I was looking for that shit. So then the next day, the very next day, I was at my my brother's house, and we smoked a spliff. And I came back inside, and I was just I was just high. Like, I was just green out. I was like, bro, is that where the name of the beat came from? Yeah. Oh, green out. I was like, bro. When he sent me this beat, it was called Green Out. I didn't know. I didn't even think about Green It Out or anything. <laughs> I just knew all that Green Out beats hard when he used that. After that, after I made that beat, it just made me like think back on my life, and I was like, "Yo, that was a very scary experience," because like I felt like I couldn't breathe and my heart was just racing. Like the beat kind of just reflects how it is because it's kind of brought me to a dark place, and then the percussion hits very hard, so it's like you don't even know what's going on. So that's what I started to do, and it just kept cooking. Just kind of like a guitar pluck, which fits the main melody of the song too, which is also kind of a guitar pluck, you know? And then when that 808 drops back with the kick, I was like, we need something pretty to carry us out. I really wanted this song to feel like, okay, I'm communicating with my ancestors. This is a positive experience. This is resonating with the fact that we came over the Atlantic, but we're here now. And we're taking advantage of everything that we need to to be ourselves, to be confident in ourselves. That was the energy, that was a vibe. So I wanted it to feel like our ancestors' energy and everything they've experienced was a part of the record. So I added these, um, almost felt like this like choir pad thing. I just felt like it felt like ancestral singing. Like, it's pretty, and like, the song is so hard, and it's so aggressive, and it's so dark. As you heard from my brother's perspective, it came from a scary place. It came from like, my heart is racing, and I don't know what's, what's coming after me kind of place. I wanted, at, at least at the end of the song, for it to feel almost like triumphant, like, huh. all right, like, we went through that, and we did that, and we're here now, you know? And that's, that's the last element that I added to the song was those vocals, and um, just kind of like those pads and patches to feel like, our ancestors are singing to us, they're hollering at us, they're telling us, look, we're good, and you're good too. <laughs>